some very cool news this week where we are going to talk about two new bike releases, a company going insolvent or bankrupt, a motor and display that have been updated to be leading edge. So tune in and learn about these things. What's up everybody, FC here from EMTV Review and I have four pieces of news. The first one is YT Industries has declared insolvency in Germany. It's similar to chapter 11 bankruptcy in the USA where they are short on money. They owe more than they have so they are allowed to restructure so they can continue going business. So it's a self-appointed, there's no one running the company, but they do have to prove to the courts that they could move on moving forward. It's unfortunate, I have a whole article on here about this issue, but a couple interesting developments have come up on this thing. The first one is just like bankruptcy chapter 11, you have all your creditors, people you owe money to. Once the starting line is set, meaning you, you file your papers, all the creditors, you, ha you know, no one gets paid. No one gets paid. The problem is, and that's normal, the problem is YT over the past few weeks has been taking the money of customers to ship bikes. Where the bikes have not been shipped, these customers become creditors because they, you know, they're, they're holding their money. So all stops on here, meaning they can't ship the bikes, they can't give refunds, and there's a lot of people around the world in the U.S. Uh, this has happened. So uh, a lot of people are going to be very, very upset. They're very upset right now. And what's going to happen is basically since you're a creditor, whatever happens in the restructuring, you get like uh, 10 cents on the dollar, 90 cents to the dollar uh, is, is what's going to uh, be the resolution. And that's what those customers are going to get. Hopefully they're made whole somehow. But if I was in their shoes, I would be upset because it's not looking good. It's not looking good what's going on and why this is allowed to happen. Uh, whew, tough one. Another thing, development on the YT end, is they released a new bike today. You know, Marcus Flossman alluded to this situation that, oh man, it's so exciting. All the new bikes, all the new bikes. And it, they just could not hold on with enough cash to keep the business going. So, but... The schedule of releases has happened and they released a new bike today. It's the new YT decoy, 170, 180 millimeters of travel. It looks kind of the same mullet, but the big difference is it now has a Bosch motor. Bosch motor, like I said uh, last year, everyone's dumping Shimano to go to the fast horse, which is Bosch. And uh, I don't know if anyone's still left on Shimano. Uh, YT was one of the holdouts for sure. Maybe Yeti. And the bike looks good. And it's from $59.99, six grand to $89.99, nine grand. Uh, and they all have the 100 new meters. They all have the new display. They're all carbon fiber. Pretty darn cool. But who's going to buy them? You know, realizing that they're on the ropes and that they just are in the process of customers. They're holding their money. They're not happy. They're kind of in a stalemate. <sighs> Who's going to buy YT right now? But hopefully they can move forward. That's what, you know, insolvency restructuring and Chapter 11 are for. And we've seen it happen on many bike companies. As long as the brand is strong, as long as they're devo uh, developing new product, and as long as you customers want to buy them. So let me know in the comments, would you buy a YT? Would you buy that new decoy uh, today or in a few months? Or are you going to wait for the dust to settle? What's going to happen? Number two piece of news is Crestline has shipped their DJI equipped bikes. They had a very limited number of DJI bikes, a limited production where they took the money in advance from customers to fund this operation of a, a permutation of the Crestline 180, 180 bike with a DJI motor. And I told my friends who, you know, like four of them ordered it. I go, how can they, that's not really cool that they're taking your money uh, and there, there's no product and they're not really allowed to ship that product yet. Anyway, they said end of July and guess what? I think earlier this week or late last week, they shipped some of the bikes already to the earliest customers. So Crestline, DJI Motor, boom, it's here. It's coming on this limited production run. There is a problem though. What is the problem? The problem is the motor is not you know, available 
or allowed to be sold yet in the USA. It's not supported yet. And uh, there's mass confusion about this. And I did some research this morning. And uh, the problem is DJI is not very open about what they're doing. I think they hate the US government uh, clamping down on them. So they're just, they're just doing what they do. But what they're doing right now is they're shipping bikes and motors to US manufacturers and, and, and retailers. Okay, and, but they have not approved the motor yet. They're not supporting the motor uh, in the USA. Uh, and, you know, if you were a prudent manufacturer or retailer, you just hang on to these bikes, you know. Just, you got to build up inventory, you know, as, as the dealer network is being built. But how can you uh, deny, you know, all these, you got like 10 customers who are giving you money for these bikes right now. So they're being sold, they're being sold. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a risky proposition, but I did test this morning I, 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 DJ has very good online support and uh, I tried them out and they said, uh, sorry, I said, I, knew, I need a new charger or I need to remove my chain ring. I know you have a special tool. And they said, sorry, uh, you're in the USA. First, they ask you where you live. You're in the USA. We are not ready yet. In the next two months, we will be ready uh, to sell to your country and then we will help you. So right now, they're not going to help you. So I said, maybe there's a disconnect. I called them on the phone and I think I got connected to China. And, uh, and they said, same thing, exact same thing. So corporate DJI is saying it's not supported in the USA yet. You know, but the retailers, you know, they're, uh, they're getting some of the product and they're, and they're handing them off to customers already, taking their money. All right. So interesting, right? Interesting. But I have something really interesting from DJI, which is my buddy, uh, uh, you know, turned it on, opened the configuration. The bike's not available or it's not built up yet. And it says every time you uh, turn it on, you can go into uh, system options and select 28 miles an hour. Hmm. All right. So Specialized started it and uh, they're, they're responding. And my key question to my buddy was, hey, is it permanent or do you have to do it every time you start the bike? And he said, you have to do it every time. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't know if they have all the, the three or four precautions that Specialized does. I don't think they do, but at least they're doing the minimum, which is every time this is a class one bike. And if you want to uh, turn it to class three, you have to do it every time you turn on the bike. So big news, big news, right? So interesting. Number three piece of news is that Bosch last fall in response to DJI and Specialized, you know, started planting these uh, Trojan horse motors called the BDU-38 or CX-5, where it has a bigger core, bigger magnet, but the specs were almost identical. And what was happening was, was they were introducing the stronger motors to the market, but not giving the customers a stronger motor. But this week, or late last week, they said, okay, now you're ready. Now we will release some firmware to give you the 100 newton meters, 750 watts of power uh, on these motors. And these are all over now. I have a couple here uh, in the garage. And, uh, you know, it's a firmware update. Unfortunately, they messed up the firmware update. And it's very difficult. Uh, but I do have a, an elaborate video, step by step, telling you how to do it. It's working for most people. Some people, uh, not quite working. It's crashing or, or the manufacturer has not uh, been specced yet or, or defined yet. But I tried it out and dang, it's or definitely faster uh, than the 85 millimeters, you know, maybe 20% faster. So I, I do have, I'm going to do more testing on that. Uh, and uh, the other thing from Bosch is that display that they promised has been released. They were given to manufacturers, okay? They're all like, all right, here, here, here you guys, here you go, manufacturers, go sell it to your, uh, uh, or put it on your new bikes or go sell it. But something interesting is happening is the manufacturers are selling it piecemeal, boom, boom, you know? These are so desirable that people want them, all right? So they're selling for 300, uh, 339. Uh, in fact, so I have a link in the description uh, from RE Bikes where they are selling it to anybody. You don't have to be a customer. Uh, 300 bucks, but two rounds of inventory have sold out completely. Click on my link in the description, by the way, because I get a, a, um, some uh, coffee money uh, for everything uh, that you buy through my links. Uh, on this on this little display the display is beautiful i have another video on that uh explaining the display and how to install it and but two rounds sold out quickly uh and so but you could i think you could back order it 
So try and do that because it's going to sell out and uh, really an amazing display. And what's happening here with Bosch is Bosch is now with this torque upgrade and this uh, display, they're now one of the best in class. And I'm going to have a, a shootout asking, is my RE Tim Peak or, or what else, uh, a Santa Cruz uh, Bala now better than the kind of the king, the specialized Levo? Now that it has this update, because it was like this, the Levo was better, but did it overtake it? So I'll have a, an elaborate shootout uh, side by side on the field, speed, handling, uh, and uh, usability testing. All right, number four, and the last piece of news that I'll leave you with is perhaps the coolest bike that Santa Cruz Bikes has released in the e-bike market. You want to know what it is? It is the release of the Santa Cruz Alloy Vala. Uh-huh, Alloy Vala. Why is it cool? It's because it is $59.99 and $68.49. Now you can have a Santa Cruz e-bike, the latest Bala, for $59.99. It's going to have 100 newton meters of torque. You can have, it only has 600 watt hours of battery, but you can put a 250 extender. And Bosch is very efficient, by the way. Uh, even though, you know, there's a 20% boost in power, you're not going to get 20% reduction in your range. It's, it's only when you tap into that. And, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing how efficient this, this, this Bosch is. So the fact that Santa Cruz has said will make an alloy e-bike is big news to me, touches me because I think they're listening to me and to you guys saying, hey, make the e-bikes cheaper. Just don't be such a weight weenie because it doesn't matter really. You know, when you save two pounds, you know, on a 50 pound bike, it's not a big deal. So, you know, so it's now 53 pounds. Uh, unfortunately, this thing in the lower components and aluminum frame, but now you have a 20% boost in power. The Bosch CX-5 motor is so supportive that climbing doesn't matter. It's that fast. It's that fast. And, in, and it's that responsive, so it feels light. You know, it just, you just got to get used to the descending of it. And as long as it has good brakes, then, um, and you develop a style for it, good suspension, then it's going to handle well. But I think it, it's a big kind of mark in time where Santa Cruz says, okay, we'll sell an e-bike. Uh, in aluminum. They haven't done that for the, what is that, the Heckler and uh, I think the old Bullet. Uh, they kept selling it in carbon. Now they just got to get rid of that high-end carbon CC model that was like 14,000 or something. Nobody needs that stuff. We just, carbon is good enough uh, for, a, uh, uh, for an e-bike. You don't need super modulus carbon and save 30 grams for an e-bike, right? All right. Set them out full. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, nice here in NorCal. Beautiful weather. Trails are awful, but there's a lot of whales in Pacifica. I'm gonna head over there and uh, and uh, ride and uh, check out some whales right from the shore. They're like they're like a couple hundred yards out. Thanks a ton, everybody.